So this is an example of an NRCS high tunnel greenhouse, and I wanted to show it to you. Um, the polyethylene um, covered greenhouse does a really good job, and it's pretty inexpensive, about 25 cents a square foot for a single layer. Uh, but the problem we have in, in the Intermountain West is the high wind, and this is a frequent occurrence. Uh, and this, this happened uh, a little while ago. Another one in the area just happened on uh, Monday, uh, two days ago, when this video was taken. But um, yeah, that's, that's one of the problems with polyethylene. One of the benefits of polycarbon is you don't have to deal with that. Uh, fastens right onto your structure and, and on something like this how you'd retrofit it is you'd go and put purlins on there um, either 30 millimeter or 40 millimeter square purlins fastened with L brackets and when you do that um, you can then mount your polycarbonate right onto those purlins slide them into place with some butt joint it seems to work pretty good um, so yeah your your R value too with polyethylene keep in mind um, typically greenhouse R values include both convective and radiative components and usually you're assigning about a 0.86 R value that's BTU or hour per foot squared uh, those are the units um, about a 0.86 R value uh, just for uh, you know six mil poly and, and that's bogus because Technically, from a mechanical engineering perspective, our value is strictly radiative. That's the stuff you buy at Home Depot. Our value is radiative. So if you really break it down, polyethylene has zero R value. It's all convective protection. And in places like you know Raleigh, North Carolina, or Portland, Oregon, that's going to work great. But in the Intermountain West, when your predominant heat losses are from radiation, polyethylene's not worth anything. You're going to freeze you know, basically the same time you freeze outside. You have some protection because the convective air, uh, you know, heat transfer, it's not gonna take away your energy from your ground, but you're still gonna freeze pretty quick. Uh, going with polycarbonate, let's say a Home Depot variety. Uh, you have a uh, four millimeter polycarbonate two layer. Um, that's gonna give you about an R value of 1.5. Keep in mind, you got to subtract that 0.86. So it's realistically only an R, view, R value of about 0.6. But if you put that up, you're going to see a noticeable difference. And the other thing, it's pretty inexpensive, about 85 cents a square foot. A um, lot more expensive than uh, poly, uh, polyethylene, but fairly cheap for polycarbonate. And that's going to give you resilience. It's going to last, you know, get warrantied for 10 years, but it's going to last you decades. Um, so yeah, it's a good solution for situations like this. You can usually retrofit something like this for probably about 4,500 um, bucks. New purlins, new polycarbon and everything. And this is a pretty big structure, a couple thousand square feet. So um, it's worth thinking about. Hey, you guys have a good one and good luck to you on your greenhouse journey. Have a good one.